Let's take an even deeper dive into the Eastern Conference playoff race with our good friend, the impeccably dressed Craig Button from Calgary. Craig, the Red Wings get the win Sunday. They get back into that final wild card spot position ahead of the Penguins. And yet, this could change at any moment, as we will see in these standings. I want to show this to you, Craig. Two spots up for grabs, as you know. Third in the Metro, and then that final wild card spot. And it could flip flop at eight times. The Islanders now third in the Metro. Detroit, those two teams have those spots. I mean, at the end of the day, anything could happen. It's going to be a fun race down the stretch. But in your mind, Craig, just seeing what you've seen this season and knowing what we have ahead of us, every team has four or five games left. Which two teams would you bet on to hold on to those two spots and get into the postseason? I think you're very liberal using the word race here, talking about those two final playoff spots, because uh, it, it's done at a snail's pace. I mean, there's teams <laughs> that have certainly, <laughs> like, they, they, they had a hold on, on playoff position, and then they've fallen right off. So you ask me, who do I think will find, will find their way into the playoffs? I think it'll be the New York Islanders and the Pittsburgh Penguins. And now it begs, it begs the question, why do you say that, Craig? I'll tell you why. Because at this point in the season, it's about who's playing the best. It's yeah. about who's finding ways to win. And that's exactly what the Islanders and the Penguins are doing. Why would I bet on any of those other teams who all they've shown me is they can't hold on to a playoff spot. They can't find a way to win. You, you said earlier, introducing me, we're going to go into a deep dive. You, you know what the three teams, Detroit, Washington, and the Philadelphia Flyers have been? They've been in a deep dive. They were in a playoff spot. <laughs> It's true, Craig, and I want to talk a little bit more about the Penguins and Islanders. They're your picks, and yet almost no one had them getting into these two spots at the beginning of March. The Islanders were six points out. The Penguins were eight points out. The Penguins traded Jake Gensel. End of story. They didn't think they were going to make it. <laughs> so in your mind, Craig, what is it that has allowed those two teams to play this well and get themselves into this position? A, a hot mess that you could describe of the play of the Detroit Red Wings, the Philadelphia Flyers, and the Washington Capitals. So let's just look at the last seven games. The Detroit Red Wings with their win on Sunday, 2-3-2. Two, two. The, uh, the Philadelphia Flyers in their last seven games, 0-5-2. Oh, the Washington Capitals in their last six games with their overtime loss to the Ottawa Senators, 0-4-1. Oh, 0-4-2, oh, 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 excuse me. Like, you, you, you know, you're just falling right off. Yeah. So, you know, you have to open up the door for other teams. And certainly the Pittsburgh Penguins and the New York Islanders have taken advantage of it. But this has been a, a, an exercise in futility for the Red Wings, the Flyers, and the Washington Capitals. They, they, they were home and cooled out, so to speak. And then they decided, well, maybe we won't win so many games. Maybe we'll find ways to lose games. And they have done it in all kinds of different ways. They've done it. It, like with consecutive losses, I just mentioned the streak that they've run into. And if you go all the way back to just before March 1st, these teams have not played very well. Yeah. And that opens up the door for other teams. So when you ask me who's going to make the playoffs, I'm betting on the teams that have found a way to win games. I'm not betting on the teams that continue to show that they're going to find ways to lose. They're not playoff worthy in my view. I, I think uh, you make very fair points. Now, I do want to provide a silver lining to Flyers fans and Washington Capitals fans out there. Your teams do have the easiest remaining schedules, but there are not many games left. Pittsburgh actually has the toughest schedule, and as Craig said, they're playing great hockey right now. Craig Button, you're the best. Thanks, my friend.